What up, guys? Mom Vernon Kid here, back again. How's everybody doing on their end? Uh, yeah, I'm here to talk about a little something, kind of give my thoughts on because I wasn't able to. Uh, I wasn't able to. I'm not gonna be able to do it because I don't like to fake reactions. Uh, you guys are probably asking, who is the reaction to Geese Howard in Tekken Seven? Well, like I said, guys, I don't like to re re react my reactions they one shots bam that's what you get uh but i'm here still want to give my little two cents on this so fatal fury's main antagonist geese howard the king of south town is gonna be in tekken 7 as the latest dlc character but he ain't coming out for a while i wanted to talk about this because when i saw this y'all this it was kind of bugging me out, you know, because I was like, excuse me, I was more like, I saw it, a friend of mine showed it to me, uh, and I saw it, and I'm like, okay, this is some Mujin, some fuck shit, you know, okay, come on, please, this, this is fake. So I hit the button, and it's real, it's lit. I'm like, there's Hachi, and then all of a sudden, Mashiba. I'm like, and he comes out, and I'm like, Whoa! Having said that, Keith Howard in a Tekken game. Uh, the producer of the Tekken series, um, Haru Har Haruda, I believe that's his last name, um, really is paying a lot of respect to those fighting games that came before Tekken. But notice you're, they're putting more of the antagonist villains in the game. You know, but. Geese is a very important character. You know, he's always been very important. He was the main protagonist in the first Fatal Fury. A lot of people say King of Fighters, Geese Howard. No, I don't. He first appeared in Fatal Fury, the Fatal Fury series first. So he'll always be that. And then of course, he was he was a villain. He was the villain in Art of Fighting and then King of Fighters, which is their amalgamation of all their games outside of Samurai Showdown and stuff like that. But yeah, seeing him in this was like, whoa. And he's got all his moves. I was like, th those are probably the biggest thing. Is like when you got characters that got projectiles and everything like that, ground attacks, you know, how is that going to feel in the Tekken universe? Even though some of the Tekken characters got some project projectiles, not a lot, but some. And you see him, he's doing his Repuken, double Repuken. Then, of course, I was like, he better have it. And next, you know, Rejig Storm. I was like, yeah, he did it. So, yeah, it, it, it's really good to see. And I'm glad to see that, that that they are paying respects to that classic SNK fighter, which I really wish SNK would do more uh, with. You know, I've always said it, you know, I, I like SNK play more and I've always loved them. You know, but they just keep throwing out King of Fighters. What about your other fighters? Let's let's get some more Fatal Furies out there. Let's get the next chapter in Samurai Showdown. Let's get the next chapter in the Art of Fighting. Don't leave us hang. Don't please don't leave me hanging. I need my fighting game fix, man. Sometimes, you know, right now, you know, Injustice to and Tekken 7 are, are, are continuing to give it to me, you know, but it's starting to lose my lust a little bit. No, I'm, I'm not. No, it's not. But I need more, man. I need, I need more. Please. Please. Uh, <laughs> I'm fucking with you guys. But no. Um, yeah, man, this is great to see who's next. You know, but somebody probably going who's a long time like, but Chris, don't you don't like stuff like this? Okay, hold up, hold up. I'll cut. Let me cut you off right there because I never said it couldn't work. Geese Howard could work in the Tekken universe, and if that's what this is implying, this that's that's this is great. But because Akuma had an intricate part in the story, this is not. But yeah, Geese can work, and to see him, the King of South Town uh basically come in and saying like hey you're done mashiva it's your time is up my time is now 
You know, so I'm a takeover, and I like that. You know, I like that indeed. I can't wait to play with him. You know, uh, would have been even cooler. You no, know, a lot of people. I read a lot of people's comments said Rugal should have been in it. Rugal or uh, I, one that really made me smile a lot was saying Geese's half brother, Wolfgang Krauser. I was like, hell fucking yeah! I would have put Wolfgang in this too. Uh, but man, who's next? How many more DLC characters are we gonna get in Tech Ed Seven? I'm down for this. I'm so down for this. The King of Southtown, Geese Howard, is in this. What if they put his son? I don't know. So far, they haven't put any, like, heroes in the game. But I'm all for it. I'm looking forward to it, guys. That's my thoughts on it so far. I'm down. I'm ready. Your boy loves it. What about you? And I'll see you guys next time.